sparkles here. That's really amazing. Oh, we definitely should know our pity. C1 inhibitor. So we are at seven. Oh yeah, and there's also Hanya here. That's really, really good. I wanted uh, some more Hanyas, like I was saying uh, yesterday. First tin pull here for Sparkle. Let's go. Five star straight away. It's not. Maybe a Hanya though. We'll we'll click through until we get E6 Hanya. Got a Sampo. He was E6, don't care. We'll skip after the first four star after this pull. All right, there is Sampo. Next tin pull here. We are still on Sparkle Banner. I still have PTSD because I've summoned on wrong banners too often. Did I hear another Humiko? No, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we have to win 50-50. Arrows, okay. Lycone, unfortunately. We had a big streak of Lycones. Oh, we also got a Sampo. Anyway, next tin pull. Come on, Sparkle. A little early, please. Nope. Leave me alone with the Himikos. I actually feel like I'm cursed already. Like, S4 now. S4 Himiko cone. This is so weird. We'll click through until we get another one. No Hanyas yet? Okay, whatever. Let's do two singles so we get our next four star just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, it's nothing. Well, I mean, I guess there's no separate animation for a four star. Oh, we got a QQ, which is cool. I like QQ now, but she's already E6 as well. Still no Hanyas. Let's do another tin pull. Say beep boop for better luck. Okay, beep boop. That means we get a Hanya now. The five star is already uh, not early. I think we're probably, I don't know, I always lose track. 40 or 50 by now, at least. QQ, that's it. Beep boop. It, maybe we have to say beep boop before we summon. Beep boop, three times, the charm. Nope. <laughs> not for the five star anyway. Maybe we at least get our first Hanya now. Saga City. Multiplication. Oh my god. Characters should have like equal chances to drop, right? We've gotten at least three, two QQs and a Sampo. Maybe, no, I think we've gotten two Sampos also and no Hanyas yet. This is a crime. This has to be our five star though. Right now. No, dude. Always pity. It is always, always has to be pity. Cornucopia. Oh, and then a light cone. Every other is like guaranteed to be one of the three characters, right? That's how it works. So we got a Lycone, which means it's guaranteed to be one of the three. I think it's doing that like every time, like we lose the 50-50 for four stars. Okay, well this is like pity actually now. The, 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 this is pity, yes. Okay, let's just hope we win 50-50. If not, this is gonna be an expensive session. I mean, unless our luck turns around, I guess that could be. Uh, We Harmony, I forgot what Harmony symbol looks like. I know what pretty much all the others will look like though, so I'll know if we get screwed or not. Meshing Cogs, Passkey, Sampo, still no Hanya. Meshing Cogs, is that the Harmony symbol? Meshing Cogs? Oh man, I, I, I feel lose 50-50, I feel it. Multiplication? No! No! I would have actually rather had a Himiko. I don't need Bailu anymore. We have way better healers. Even Lynx is better. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Bailu though. Bailu. Like, okay. Wow. Pity Bailu. Amazing. Double five star. Oh, that's too late. Wow, man. That's insane. Pity Bailu. Okay. I don't care anymore. Give us Hanya or don't give us Hanya. I'm not going to wait anymore. A QQ. Next tin pull. When, when, when I feel like I get screwed over, I just start rushing because like I, I'm 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 over it. A Lycone. So again, we lost the 50-50 for character. Four star. Look at this. What? No Hanyas yet. They would rather give us a Tingyun that has been E6 forever. That's not even on the banner. Then then one Hanya. And just to just to put salt in the wound, also gave us a QQ and a Sampo. Look at this. What is this? What's going on? Actually, like, getting mad now. This is so dumb. Lycone? Dude, what is this? And we have to go to Pity again. Wow, we finally got one Hanya. When we're out of, like, 20k, 20k stellar later, we got one Hanya. I don't care anymore. This is so dumb. And, yeah, definitely not early. Literally 180 pulls for E0 Sparkle. Still nothing. Got one more Hanya. I think we need one more for E6 now. We're out of, uh, we're, we're out of Stellars. Let me check. One more for E6 Hanya. This summon session is like almost the worst it like mathematically could be. That's crazy. 20K, no sparkle. A little bit more actually. Let's do a couple singles. Most of the time it's like this, it turns around in the end, but I, I don't feel it today. Databank, might be able to get a couple from other means. There is a five star. I'm not gonna skip even though I know it's sparkle now, but that was definitely, I don't know, it could have been slightly early, maybe 60 to 70, I don't know. But there is Sparkle at least, so could have 
technically been a tiny bit worse. Okay, so, but now we're at zero pity. What are we doing on light cones? Uh, four pity. Well, this will make it five pity. No, that wasn't, was it? No. <laughs> I looked away for a second and I thought I saw in the corner of my eye it was a five star, but that's just massive copium. Increase where is crit damage? Is she a DPS? Maybe she scales with crit damage in some way like Branya. we'll see. Uh, at the start of the battle, the wearer gains mask. While the wearer has mask, the wearer's allies have their crit rate increased by 10% and their crit damage increased by 28%. Oh, okay, so she buffs allies crit rate and crit damage, lasting for four turns. Whoa. Okay, that seems like a pretty constant buff though. That light cone seems pretty insane. Just the tin crit rate though. She shares her crit damage more than Branya does. Okay, so she does sort of scale with crit damage like Branya, but she also buffs crit rate, which is really cool, 10%. That's one big reason I always take Fushwin because it's like Fushwin permanently reduces your crit rate requirement by like 10.5 or I guess 11% maybe at max. Uh, but just having Sparkle now with her light cone, of course, LC does sound amazing. So I really, I really, really do want it. I don't know if we're going for E1 though. Oh yeah, I guess these, we're just gonna get those 45 passes. Got everything else from this shop, although it looks like it'll be resetting tomorrow. We're gonna see if we get uber lucky and can get her light cone in 45 pulls. We are under 10 pity, I forgot exactly, but we're not really close. Here we go, first 10 pull, nothing. It's fine. I don't think I'm looking for any light cones in particular. I don't even really re recognize the four stars too much, to be honest. Anyway, next 10 pull here. So basically, if we get a four star, we can skip. I, I don't really hold much stock in what I get here. If it's not a five star, if it is, then of course, want to click through to see if we win the 2575, but otherwise we can just skip. Oh, okay. Honestly, even if we lose 2570, did we lose? No, we, no, we got, we got Black Swan's light cone last time, I believe. So we do have to win the 2575. That was super early. So I honestly don't even care if we get S5 Himiko card right now. I would care. I would care a lot, honestly. I, I would be so sad, but it was early enough that I'm kind of happy with whatever happens. No, I'm not. Just give me the, just give me the, give me the sparkle cone, meshing cogs. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh my God, okay. Super lucky, damn. Earthly escapade, nice. Double five star, give us S2, how about that? Okay, it's always like this though, it's so weird. We go from the worst summon session ever and then it kind of turns around a little bit. Now I'm feeling like we maybe should go for E1. I mean, we have 15 pulls left. That That's enough for E1, right? I still feel like overall is pretty bad because pity both times essentially and we lost 50, 50, 50, 50 Bailu though. What does that do? If the target ally's current HP is equal to their max HP, when invigoration ends, regenerates eight extra energy for this target. I'm gonna get it, I guess. Let's go to Sparkle though. The Cypher effect granted by the ultimate lasts for one extra turn. That's usually E6. All allies with Cypher have their attack increased by 40%. Okay, well, I have no idea what Cypher is. So that seems like ultimate. Recovers four skill point, four? Four skill points? Jesus, that's a lot of skill points. Holy hell. Uh, for the team and grants all allies Cypher, for allies with Cypher, each stack of the damage boost effect provided by Sparkle's talent, Additionally increases by 6%, lasting for two turns. So this would last three turns. So we need to look at talent now. When an ally consumes one skill point, all allies damage dealt increase by 3%, maybe 20% damage boost when it's higher raised. 18, but 48 with ultimate. Okay, so yeah, it's a damage boost based on skill point usage. Uh, and then her Eidolon uh, makes it last an extra turn. That I think is the less important thing than the 40% attack boost. That just tacks onto the damage boost. That sounds pretty good. Someone said E2 is better though. Every stack of the talents effect allows allies to additionally ignore eight. Oh my God, no. Def ignore. It seems like a lot of a lot of characters are getting like def or res ignore now though. So it's starting to become a little muddled. The more with def and res ignore, the less special it is in a way. It's still strong. It doesn't matter how many have it. Like def ignore or res ignore or res penetration or whatever is still strong. 24% def ignore. E2 does sound really good, but unless our luck really turns around, E2 is gonna be too rich for my blood. I don't think E1 is really worth it though. It's a bit more damage buff and it lasts for an extra turn. So it basically does increase her ultimate buff by a turn. I mean, still 40% attack is definitely something though, actually. 40% attack is a decent buff when it's just tacked onto an Eidolon, you know? And the extra turn, E1 makes her ult uptime 100%. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know? And the 40% attack, it's like, I know attack buffs are like very common and whatever, but it's still 40% attack, which is decently significant. It's almost an entire uh, relic, relic's 43. Okay. 
I'm gonna do it again because I'm stupid. Here's what we're gonna do. If we get Sparkle in 50, so five tin pulls, we will go for E2. F2P magic. <laughs> I don't know why that always makes me laugh. <laughs> we got 50 tickets now. If we get a Sparkle, we go for E2. If not, we're done. Them, them the rules. First of the 50, here we go. Boom. No. It's not. We do need one more Hanya, but I'm not gonna look. I'm, I'm not gonna look for her anymore. It doesn't do anything. Did get another Sampo there. Next of the tens, boom! I'm gonna get it on literally the 50th pull. Watch this. But it has to. We have to win 50, 50 or maybe we just won't. That would still be pretty good luck. And win 50, 50. That's never gonna happen to me. All right. Boom. Still nothing. All right. We got two more ten pulls. Two more ten pulls, or that's it. Ooh. Okay. There we go. We got our E6 Hanya. Happy enough with that, I guess. Did take way too long to finally come home, but fourth of the 10 pulls, still nothing. Quite sad, quite sad. And now I literally don't care about any of the four stars because they're all E6. Last one. Last one. Nah, big sad. Uh, yeah, now they're just gonna be throwing Hanyas at me. All right, we'll do one more. Nah, still nothing. Anyway, so we're at 60 pity now, but yeah, I don't know. I'll decide later. Maybe we uh, maybe we go for Sparkle later on a different day, but for now, I'm fine. Overall, pretty bad. We got decently lucky on Lycone, at least, uh, but overall, not great. Is what it is, I guess. I guess we uh, do usually do the Aptitude Showcase, so we'll do that real quick before wrapping it up, just to learn a little bit about her preliminarily. While Sparkle is in battle, the team's skill point limit is increased, recovers a large, yes, uh, so we, we already got that four skill points, increases Ali's crit damage and damage dealt. So we'll get some more information once we uh, actually start the battle here. Let's do her support ability just for fun. Let's check out the te technique first. Unreliable narrator. Using the technique grants all allies misdirect. Characters with misdirect will not be detected by enemies and entering battle while in misdirect recovers skill points for allies. Uh, basic attack is basic. Skill increases an allies crit damage and advances for their action right. Someone said 50% a while ago. Ultimate recovers skill points. Yes, four skill points, insane. It enables the damage boost provided by Sparkle's talent to be additionally enhanced. Okay, so crit damage, damage percent, and skill point recovery. Very overall kind of normal support actually, uh, except for the skill points. The talent buff honestly is kind of low though, unless you have ultimate running also, but I mean, it's fine. It's just a talent. I think the main point of her talent is to increase the actual amount of skill points you have. That's very unique. Uh, going from five to seven, I believe it was, but we'll see here in a second. Yes, indeed, seven. We are also in a almost mono quantum team. This is almost the team I would take with her when we're gonna do the showcase though. Uh, Fushwin instead of Lynx and Silverwolf. Yeah, I actually know how QQ works now, which is cool because we like just did the showcase yesterday for her. Yeah, basically just enhancing until we can't anymore, which we got all four there. We don't really have any buffs yet, but sure, let's do it anyway. QQ obviously uses like potentially the most skill points per turn out of anyone, even more than Imbibitor if you get like Super lucky. Uh, so wait, hold on. How much does it actually boost? Lynx's is weight on there. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use su 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 support on her and then we can also burst, I guess. This is for the entire team anyway. And recovers a bunch of skill points, which we'll need for her. Damn, four skill points, that is crazy. Okay, we did all four again. But yeah, I mean, she's not really complicated, I think. We are like out of skill points though. I mean, I guess we could give her the energy and get some skill points back real quick before it's her turn. I know Team Yoon's ultimate also gives a damage buff, but meh, whatever. We, like I said, we kind of needed the skill points now. Now we're at zero. Now we can do ultimate and then uh, now blast. I believe that's how she works. I mean, she looks really cool. I'm really looking forward to trying her in my own team. I do want to quickly, oh yeah, hold on. I want to do this also, get my E6 Hanya. Increase the damage, I mean, E6 isn't insane or anything, but I'll see you guys in the, uh, next video slash stream. See ya. Have a nice day, everyone.